live battle on one of Bravo's biggest shows. New details behind Frances McDormand's stolen Oscar <laughs> and Broadway in Chicago's next season lineup. Here with all of the details and all of that is Frankly Hank. Hello, hello. Okay. So let's start up with the uh, Broadway in Chicago's lineup. Broadway in Chicago season. lineup just out today. Some fantastic shows coming. Uh, Dear Evan Hansen, can't wait to see this again. I saw it on Broadway. Fiddler on the Roof, never seen it, but dying to see it. Oh. Hello, Dolly. Belly, Betty Buckley is going to star in that. Bette Midler was on that Broadway. Mm -hmm. Miss Saigon, one of my absolute favorites. Uh, Roll Dolls, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The Book of Mormon is coming back. The play that goes wrong, which I have not seen, but sounds hysterical. And the pre-Broadway world premiere of Tootsie. So. Oh. Great season, and then that's just like the beginning list. They always add shows throughout the season. So really good uh, uh, Broadway season coming. All right. Uh, what about uh, Chicago contestants facing off in Top Chef on Bravo? Exactly. Thursday night, Bravo, two Chicagoans are going for the title. Adrienne Cheatham, born and raised on the south side in Hyde Park. There she is. She now lives in some city called New York. Um, <laughs> and then Joe Flam, who is the executive chef at Spiaggia, also raced on the south side. Joe was eliminated in the competition fall his way back. Oh, so Thursday night they go for the title. We're pulling for Joe of course. Um, if he wins he gets $125,000, the title of Top Chef. He says that would be enough for him to branch out on his own. He loves Biagia but now he's ready to do his own thing so we are pulling for him yes. of course. Yeah, we've seen so many careers really get launched after those Absolutely. shows. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, I want all the tea on this stolen uh, Oscar. Girl, Francis I got is... some good tea Ooh, on I this. Oh, I want to <laughs> spill it, baby. So, spill it. of course, Sunday night we all know Francis McDonald Norman won the Oscar for Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Yeah. Best Actress, if you have not seen that film, freaking fantastic. She absolutely deserved the Oscar for that. Mm -hmm. Then, once the awards are over, there's the Governor's Ball. That's the party that the Academy throws for everyone. It's the first stop everyone goes to. While Frances McDormand is at that party, she sets down her Oscar. Yeah. She's drinking, she's socializing. She then realizes someone has picked it up, it is gone. She even has to leave the party without the Oscar because they had not found it. Yeah. Then, take a look at this video. Oh. A very eagle-eyed photographer caught this. That man's named Terry Bryant. He is walking out of the governor's ball, <laughs> telling everyone, look what I won. He then goes on Facebook and makes a video saying, me and my team won this video, won this Oscar. Look what we got. He tells people he won it for best music. He tells other people he won it for best producer. Wow. What, then, what does he really do? Does anybody know? Have we gotten to that? Like, who is he? Don't, don't know. His ticket inside the ball was legitimate. He had an actual ticket to be there. Um, but so he recorded these videos. The photographer confronted him outside, took the statue away, called police. He didn't even leave the scene. Police showed up and arrested him there. <laughs> So now he's charged with uh, a felony. He's being arraigned um, today. He does have priors uh, in, in Oregon for criminal mischief and theft. Here's the really interesting part. Frances McDormand did not want to press charges. However, she doesn't own the Oscar. The Academy owns the Oscar. So they are the ones pressing charges. So once they give it to her, that she doesn't own it at that point? It is, you get to keep it, you get to possess it, but the Academy physically owns it. So if anything ever happens to you, then the Oscar goes back to the Academy. Wow, I should return that one to Jack Nicholson from 1970. <laughs> All right, thank you, Absolutely. frankly. Hey.